Welcome to my Trekabi Time Tracker Review. Trekabi is a platform for time tracking and employee leave management. Trekabi is an excellent tool for the freelancers, distributed teams, service providers billing by the hours and other business that want to improve employee productivity or work on time sensitive projects. Here you will get highly customizable timesheets, employee leave management, customizable time reports, invoicing and payments, company data insights and many more things. Now I am inside the simple dashboard of Trackabee Time Tracker and here I will provide you one small demo of the product that how exactly this tool works. But before going into the details I like to mention that one link is given in the video description below and that is the AppSumo lifetime deal. One AppSumo lifetime deal is going on and the price is $99 only. And you can see here 84 positive reviews are there and almost all the reviews are 5 star reviews. And if you come below you will get more information like this is the best for developers, IT security agencies and marketing agencies and alternative to toggle track and you can integrate with GitHub, GitLab. And if you come below, you'll get more information that what are the features and benefits of the product like plans and features and also features included in all plans like timesheet management, desktop time application, gamification of time tracking, export to PDF and Excel, invoice with export to PDF, payment tracking, employee activity, insights, then employee leave management, sharing timesheet reports, invoicing, project plans and estimate budget and expenses user access roles based on the permission and also they are providing 60 days money back guarantee if you don't like the product for any reason you can return it back and they will refund your money within 60 days of your purchase and there are some pricing plans like plan 1 plan 2 plan 3 and 99 dollars 198 dollars and 297 dollars and 25 employees can use and 50 employees can use and 75 employees can use this 1000 projects, 1000 projects, 1000 projects for all 300 clients, 300 clients and 300 clients. So you can go with as per your requirement. Now again come back to the simple dashboard and here I will provide you one small demo of the product. So there are two types of time management. Personal is for the employees of the company. That means the people are working inside the company on ground level. And next one is for the company owners or for the managers. So I will discuss both. So first of all the personal inside the dashboard you can see all your activities as a calendar format so this is the calendar format and here you can see the month wise report and then come to the time sheet section and also you can start timer if you are working on a project time sensitive project you can start timer so from here you can start the timer so on hourly basis if you are working on a project you can definitely use this feature start timer and also you can uh, add manually timesheet so click on timesheet and here you can add clients for example if you are working on a UK client then you can write here UK client and save and also you can uh, give the project name so maybe the project name is software So as per your project you can give the project name and save so new project has been successfully created and also you can input your task so what is your task on that particular project so you may you can write the task like writing the code or software development software development so save from here so this is your time record and save the record so this so you can manually add your timesheet here and also you can import your timesheet if you have any external timesheet then you can import it from there and you can see it today yesterday this week previous week this month previous month and also you can see on the custom date basis 
so that is all about the time sheet now come to leaves if you want to apply for the leaves for example if you want to apply a leave on today is 6th of august so come to august so here it is august if you want to apply for a leave on 17th of august so click on 17th of august or you can add new so start date is 17th of august and you want to take leave up to maybe 22 of august so you want four days leave so leave type you can choose from here vacation sickness you cannot choose sickness because uh, in advance you cannot be apply for a sickness uh, sick leave and then casual study unpaid so i want to apply for a vacation leave so comments you can put some comments vacation vacation to paris so you can add your leave from here and your manager can see your leave applied leave and that person can approve or reject your leave so you have applied the leave this is the vacation leave you have applied here and now come to the import section and from where your uh, manager can see that i will come later and come to the import section and here you can import link your first uh, uh, resource import so click on link your first resource import and you can integrate with gitlab github so these are the softwares you can integrate with and you can import your data now come to the settings some important settings are there working hours you can choose from here and also notification setting you can choose from here and you can set the running timer reminder no running timer reminder also you can set from here and also some general settings are there so now come to the main section that is the company time management that means the managers or the company owners can manage everything from this time management so come to the dashboard and here also they can see everything inside their dashboard on weekly monthly basis so this is the august month company dashboard and from here they can select by project or by client and also they can see on time logged and also billable time billable time is the time that uh, clients are paying for so this is the billable time and also the time log this is the actual time employees are working on so you can see by project and by client and also weekly monthly previous week previous month this way you can see the overall data of your company now come to the insights section and inside section you will get all your insights of the employee like daily weekly monthly previous uh, month previous day previous uh, week you can see from here so now come to the time sheet section and inside the time sheet section you can add new time sheet so add new from here and here you can enter the client like if i choose the uk client and the project is maybe the project name is development and now short project by name is not required now so save it the new project has been successfully created from here now you can input your task what is your task as a manager then work performed you can write here and also you can save from here so this is the way you can create new time sheet from here and also you can see your time sheet on date basis that means today yesterday this week previous week this month previous month and also you can filter you can customize the date from here so this is very simple also you can generate the reports so save as reports from here save as reports and you can choose the date from which date to which date you want to get the report maybe 6th of august to 30th of august you can choose the date and also you can review the report from here so this is the report and also you can print the report and also you can save the report as a pdf format or excel format so portrait it is okay so it's creating the report so this is the pdf format report so that is excellent and then come again to the dashboard and from here you can see more things like leaves your employees are applied for leaves maybe this one i have applied this leaf so you can see the leaf like pending approval so these are the four days leave 
vacation to Paris. You can edit it, approve it, and also delete it, reject it. Maybe you want to approve your employee leave, so you can approve from here. So when you will approve the leave, your employee will get the notification inside their dashboard, and they can see that you have approved the leave, and also you can reject also you can delete and also you can edit the leave now come to the report section and you can also add a new leave for your employees you can choose the member name and the status pending or approved you can directly approve from it and you can start date and end date you can choose from here and also you can number of working days and you can put the comment and you can save like for example if you want that your employee must take a leave on 25th of august to 27th of august this one day or two days then just leave a vacation leave you can put here or a casual leave just comment take a leave take a leave and save so this way you can create leave for your employees also now come to the report section you can generate different reports for the years and you can put the client name here maybe uk client if you choose a client and for this particular client you can go to timesheet to prepare a new report so click on that and again you are redirected to the timesheet section and here you can create your timesheet and you can create your report by creating save as report so that is a very good option now come to the invoices section you can create the invoice for your clients create a new one so from here you can create an invoice add item you can add more items here and default hourly rate maybe hundred dollar you are charging for one hour you can give five percent discount to them and also you can add the task here like five percent now come to the save section and also you can preview the invoice from here and also you can print the, the invoice and also you can save the preview from here so it is generating the pdf format invoice this is already generated i think yes this is generated the pdf report is generated here so this is excellent so this you can create the invoice that is also one very good feature of trackaby uh, and now come to the project section again and here you can add new project for your new client if you get a new client you can add your new project like a client name start date end date cost hourly rate then current by default you can choose the currency from here and also the finances estimated units you can yeah, choose everything from here and you can save from here so you can create your new project from here and also you can add clients from here if you get a new client you can add client so click on add client section and here you can uh, add the client logo from here contact person contact email address you can choose a client logo from here so maybe you can choose a client logo and also you can choose the email address from here also you can put your email address your address your phone number and you can create the client from here and company name you need to put maybe xyz is the company name and save so this way you can add a new client from here and also staff section you come to a staff section you can add your new staff if somebody joined inside your team you can invite new staff here you can put the email address and employee role of that particular person so you can create and also you can add new from here so this way you can create the staff and also if you want you can create a team maybe there are 50 people are working in your team but you want a small team for a particular project then you can create your first team from here and you can give a name of the team maybe software development software is the team name and also you can assign the person from here and you can save and you can save so you can create your team from here and also there are achievement section are also there so you can see the achievements from here and also you can save your achievement inside the achievement section so this is an excellent platform for the time management of your team for your employees and for the company also so this is an excellent platform definitely you can go with this tool
the link is given in the video description below for your ready reference one app sumo lifetime deal is going on and if you want 10 percent extra discount you definitely go through my link so that's all about trackabi review and a small demo if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you will be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye